Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Bachelor of Event Management session here this morning at ICMS Open Day 2021. It's fantastic to have you all join us this morning. Unfortunately, not live on campus, but nonetheless joining us here um, from ICMS is still a great experience. We're really excited to have you with us here today. Um, speaking of excited, uh, I have two fantastic guest speakers with me today, which I'm very excited about uh, joining us uh, live today. I have Katrina um, and Samantha. Now, Katrina um, is an academic leader, a learning designer in both the undergraduate and postgraduate space um, in the event, tourism and hospitality sector. And she's a national ambassador for regional tourism Australia and a judge on the New South Wales uh, Government uh, Tourism Award Panel. Um, importantly, Katrina has a wealth of experience in this space, not only in the lecturing world, but also in industry. Um, her practical experience um, includes venue portfolio management, uh, managing boutique tourism um, venues, wellbeing events and experiences, and a thing called um, the experience economy and sustainability. So Katrina, welcome today. We're really excited to have you uh, join us on the panel. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm delighted to be invited today. Uh, I've been at ICMS uh, for three years in a couple of roles. And uh, the one degree that I absolutely love is a Bachelor of Event Management. And I'm really, really lucky that I've been able to speak about this today um, for all of you out there listening in. Fantastic. So welcome, welcome to the Bachelor of Event Management. Thank you. And we also have joining us today um, a current student of ours, Samantha Johnston, who um, for all intents and purposes and all records I've seen and heard uh, is an absolute superstar here at ICMS, currently studying uh, the Bachelor of Event Management as well. And I believe you two uh, know each other from the classroom, which is really exciting. And I believe, Samantha, you're um, a Tara Anglican student. Um, you graduated last year, a uh, few things under your belt, a drama prefect, um, and you discovered your, your love for entertaining and, and caring for others in that sort of drama space. And um, obviously, we're really excited to have you here. And I met you initially uh, around this time last year when you came for your first scholarship interview, uh, which was an exciting process. And uh, look, it's really exciting to have you uh, join us today. And I know now you're also a student ambassador. So um, also welcome to the panel. I'm really excited to hear from you um, shortly as well. Thank you so much. Very excited to be here. Fantastic. Well, Katrina, look, we'll, I think we'll get straight into it. Um, I'd love to hand over to you to, to run us through the events course. Absolutely. Great. Okay, so Bachelor of Event Management, management what, what is this all about? Firstly, there's a couple of things that ICMS do really well. It's the uh, faculty that we have. Okay, so um, we have lecturers on all levels, right from as students are finishing high school, school through to students that might be coming from different, uh, different industries. Our lecturers are absolutely industry-led. So what we have is uh, people who have come from industry but also know how to teach at an academic level, uh, whether it's first year, second year, third year uh, degrees. And we all have great industry experience. This means that we understand what our students need to go into industry and get jobs straight away or to create their own experiences. So this is where our ICMS absolutely stand out, okay, that quality of teaching at an academic level, but also the quality of industry and the skill sets. So as you can see here, um, as Bill mentioned, I've got a, a quite a large industry uh, leadership experience in tourism and hospitality and events, but also I've developed my own uh, venues and events. I come from a corporate health business event background and I've turned that into well-being event venues for the corporate and boutique and high net worth traveller retreats. Uh, so, so that's where I come in from. I've also got a, uh, a, a specialist area in the experience economy, which I'll talk a little bit about later, and my passion is also sustainability. So each lecture we have have different skill sets and different specialisations. Right, so... What, what about, about yourself? yourself? The, the students, students that come into event management degrees, we, we always see that they're going to have a particular type of personality. Now, their passions will lie in different areas in event management, but your fundamental personality, what we always see and why our students get along so well together is that you love creating experiences whether it was that you're always there, you know, helping set up for your best friend's um, birthday, maybe you might be helping um, with a family member's engagement party or someone's milestone birthday, or you love helping out in the community and volunteering at events. You're social and you, you care as well. 
You also love to plan. You love those little finite details. And we are just chatting earlier with Sam about talking about the styling of events and the theming, and each one of those uh, class members have different talents to bring in. So you actually learn from each other as well as from the lecturer, as well as from all our amazing online resources that we bring in straight from industry, what's going on that week. So you've got to be organised, absolutely, but the biggest thing is we're all so fun-loving. We absolutely love being around people, putting on a great experience. Okay, so what does this bring you into? Once you've spent, you know, just over a little two years, if you want to take the, the quick option or over three years, uh, if you want to go more part-time, What's out there? You've got many different things. And I, I tell you what, most students won't know where they want to go or what they want to do until towards the end. If you do know, that's fantastic. But all of our subjects and all of our faculty, our lecturers all have uh, experience in different areas. So anywhere from music and festivals through to fashion, through to exhibitions and conferences in the business event space, even a sports event manager, there's lots of different subjects for you to choose. Okay, so our flexible learning options. We have a couple of different campuses. Obviously, our most famous is the most amazing castle, which we're very, very privileged to work in every day. It is just such a joy being in the campus. Uh, there is also a city campus, which has some core subjects are delivered, as well as online options as well. And the study pattern we'll go through in a second. Okay, so the bachelor degree, first year. Each term is around 12 uh, weeks and then there's around anywhere between three to four weeks uh, and then the next one starts. Although obviously over Christmas and New Year, it's a bit longer than that so you can get a well-deserved break. So within a year, you have three terms. Okay, and for full-time study load, that is four subjects per term. This is a normal university load. Second year, same thing, except that it's really, really exciting. I'll leave uh, Samantha, I'm sure, we'll probably talk about this a little bit uh, more about industry training. So in the second year, you get uh, an option of going into the workplace for some of our amazing partners, and I'll speak about that a little bit in a few slides' time. And then after you come back into uh, from industry back into the classroom, you then have a really great array of subjects because you'll probably have a bit of an idea of what part, part of industry that you like. So that third year, you also get the choice of electives and at the end of second year. And then you can hone those skill sets mentored with the, the uh, work integrated learning team as well as your lecturers be coached on that, and then you're ready as a professional in straight away into industry. Now, this is where we stand out. In academic terms, what it's called is graduate capabilities, okay? We have designed our courses backwards. What we mean is that we understand what industry needs and we have designed the course around that. We haven't designed it from textbooks, which are anywhere between, you know, three to 30 years old because the event landscape today is very different to what it was even only two years ago. There are new trends. There are new, you know, new ways to put on events constantly. So any time, you know, that we create a subject, it is with what is absolutely going on in industry and our graduate capabilities show that as well. We also have active learning, meaning that most of our activities and our assessments work towards a type of case that you would find already in industry. So you've already reflected a particular situation industry and you've come up with some great design and some great experiences that you could actually replicate already in industry and already create your own business around that. So it's active learning. Again, we're not just doing essays the whole time. It's very, very practical and continual assessment based. We don't just do a massive 5,000 word essay at the end of the subject. We make sure that our students go along every few weeks and have this progressive assessment to give them support and great feedback along the way. Okay, so I mentioned our graduate capabilities. As you can see, innovation, 
okay, global citizenship, we don't just look, you know, just on Northern Beaches alone or Sydney alone or national. We also look to the international arena in event management as well. The sky's your limit. And then we have independent self-management as well as technology and information literacy, as well as teamwork and school collaboration. Now you'll see this in some of our subjects. So a lot of our subjects are career focused, okay? Now it is a new curriculum, okay? We've got a fantastic new curriculum that's been TEXA approved. So again, these subjects have been designed literally only, you know, a year ago. You're not going to be studying subjects which are 10 years old. And of course, 90% of our students are employed in their field before graduation because of our robust uh, work integrated learning and the fact that our lecturers as well as our students are, are just mature and absolutely fit straight into industry. Okay, so here's a quick look at the first year subjects. You have marketing, you have some economics, you have event planning, you have global citizenship, and you have some tech subjects and governance subjects as well. Second year subjects, this is the exciting part, the work integrated learning. Okay, so it's effectively six months or over two trimesters. And then after that, you come back into the course and you sit in back in our beautiful lecture halls or online if that's uh, the way that you that you also like as well and we have um, leadership uh, courses as well as your own capstone your own area that you can delve right into of interest all right and and then uh, the 200 levels these are the types of electives. You can go more into hospitality, more into tourism, more into sports events, which is really exciting with, uh, for example, Brisbane winning the Olympics in 2032, as well as the, uh, the women's um, football coming through cup. We've got so many things that Australia is looking forward to having huge amounts of events staff on. And then our professional placement, which is that uh, whole two trimesters we can give you workplace skill sets, academic researchers, and these are our partners all the way from the Sheraton through to Tourism Australia, uh, down to Northern Beaches Council. If you live here on the Northern Beaches, lots of the sporting associations and clubs and some great uh, national and international uh, brands which bring on our, our, our students and quite often keep our students in part and full-time roles. That's really, really important. And we're so proud that so many of our students stay on in those roles as paid employees of these amazing thought leaders in, in the event industry. So there we go. There's our last part of the uh, subjects. And again, lots more. You've got so many electives to be able to choose. Okay. This is all in your prospectus, how to apply. You can apply direct, okay, and there's lots of different ways you can apply. Just um, check in with student services. You'll be able to be in contact with them throughout today, okay, through the various um, contact resources. There's also some alternate industry uh, entries, early entries, okay, and then through the UAC portal. Now, intake. You've got a February and then a midterm one in March, as well as the second trimester, which is May and then June for mid intake. Third trimester is August with an October intake. And there's also a December um, uh, school as well. So you've got three main times and also some midterm intake. So you can choose to start whenever you want. Thank you for listening. And will there be questions at the end for anyone that would like to answer, ask any questions? Thank you, Katrina. That was really, uh, really insightful. And thank you for sharing your, your experience. And, and you're right, I'll definitely have a couple of questions coming through. I can see them uh, coming through here on the system uh, right now. So I'll, I'll get a couple of questions through to yourself um, yeah, in about five or 10 minutes. So uh, sit tight. Um, we'll, we'll get there, no problem. Um, Samantha, I'd love to, um, to hand over to you now to tell us a little bit about your ICMS experience and, and your journey and your time as an ICMS student. So over to you. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. So as Phil has said, my name is Samantha Johnston and I've just finished my second trimester at ICMS studying a Bachelor of Event Management. It's so incredible to think that this time last year I was frantically studying for trials whilst flicking to the 2020 virtual open day between papers, watching videos on events and other students' stories. Never did I think that 12 months later I would be on the other side of the screen telling mine. 
I graduated high school last year at Tara Anglican School for Girls. Originally, I had planned to take a gap year traveling and pursuing some passions, but I don't think it's much of a secret that over the past 18 months, our lives have become extremely susceptible to change. I found ICMS scrolling through my newsfeed one day and the castle caught my eye. So I began to look into it more and quickly saw myself dreaming of going here to study after school. This was big for me as I um, had not intended on going to university straight out of school. It was always on the cards, but I never really knew what I was going to do. And so many people at the end of school start swarming, asking about your plans, what degree you're going to do, where at, and that can be very overwhelming if you're not sure. However, once I had saw a glimpse of the events course, there really was no looking back. That was what I was going to do at ICMS straight out of school and no one could change my mind. So I began working on my early entry, scholarship, personal statement documents to give myself the best possible chance of getting in. But why events? Well, leading me towards event management is my love for entertainment and performing and it traces right back to when I was little. I've always loved dancing, not competitively, just for fun, weekly classes and a performance at the end of the year. I absolutely loved the thrill leading up to an annual concert, rehearsing, getting costumes ready, having my hair and makeup done. I was so passionate about coming to the end of the year and sharing what I love and what I had worked on with family, friends and even strangers. When I went into high school, I got into drama without even really realising it. In my senior years, I had the chance to do um, involved in an insane musical production with the King's School. And not only did I get to perform, but that experience shaped so many of the memories and friendships that I have today. I also had the chance to run for Drama Prefect, which, believe it or not, I was not going to take at first. But I'm so glad I did because I vividly remember an identifying moment that led me to this course. It was my first duty as drama prefect. I was on stage MC at our school's first ever talent show. After much organisation behind the scenes with event run sheets, designs, logos, etc., I also got to be a part of the atmosphere on the day that was filled with excitement and wonder. That power of bringing people together and creating unforgettable experience is something else entirely. And I hope to always inspire others to follow their heart and go after what they are passionate about, because that will without a doubt be the most rewarding and fulfilling path. With that in mind, looking towards the future, I am really hopeful and passionate about pursuing a career in the realm of fashion or entertainment, as I always was so drawn to the stage. The concept of bringing a vision to life, whether that be someone else's or your own, is what really inspires me. In those industries, there are so many events, whether it's for fun, marketing purposes, a networking opportunity, and so naturally, I'm quite drawn to events themselves, making me believe that studying the process and management behind them will lay a great foundation for other potential paths I may go down. And it has all reigned true so far. I have not looked back or questioned my chosen degree since day one. Not only do I simply love being a part of the ICMS community, but the events course itself has been that and more. My absolute favourite subject so far has been event concept and design, which entails exactly what it sounds like. This class gives the opportunity to imagine, create and conceptualise ideas and visions for events that you would want to attend yourself or perhaps coordinate in the future. The best thing about it is that ICMS equips you with the knowledge, skills and drive needed to pursue something in your chosen area without restricting any of your interests. Students can pitch anything from corporate events to fashion shows, themed gala balls, dinners, fundraisers and everything more. So not only does it allow your personal ambitions to fly, but it really gives you a scope of all the different prospective careers and pathways that a course in events could take you down. Another exciting opportunity I've had so far from doing events is going on practical site inspections or, in a nutshell, excursions. At ICMS, they push the real-world experience and I find it especially relevant in events as we get to see different types of businesses operating, venues we could use and different spaces. Early in the year, I was able to go to Park High at Sydney as part of the Introduction to Tourism, Hospitality and events, which is an introductory subject to all of those industries and how they relate to each other. 
It really instilled that sense of independence of the university life in early on in the course and created excitement around the degree. I caught the ferry into Circular Quay and met some friends where we walked around to the venue and were taken on a tour of some of the common areas in the hotel and shown some grand rooms that guests could stay in. So that's definitely something to look forward to, as well as other site inspections to Sydney props and different venues that could be used for special events. It really adds that real world vision to the course you're studying and gets you out in your out and about in your business attire, which when walking around in the city makes you feel as if you're already on the high road to your career. Business attire is just one of the things that I love about being an ICMS student. Upon first discovering the college, I was instantly drawn to the beautiful campus, close-knit community, and opportunities prevailed from amazing industry connections. Coming from a smaller high school, I believe I personally thrive in a small, close-knit and interactive environment, encouraging independence, courageous learning, and improving your emotional intelligence. I am so lucky to be close with my family and value meeting new people, socialising and creating those deeper bonds, learning about each other's differences, all, all whilst having common appreciations. This has become something that I can't imagine experiencing at a larger university. At ICMS, I made friends from day one at the traditional cocktail party and insight into all the events that I could potentially plan one day. And the fact that we have smaller classrooms means I get to see familiar faces day to day, allowing us to foster those friendships even further. Not only do we become close with each other, but in small interactive classrooms, we also get to know our lecturers better, which is super special and makes learning so much more fun. I've had Jennifer Lee for both of my event specialist subjects so far, and she has been amazing. She's an expert in her area, but also ensures the class is always interactive and lively, openly discussing different event ideas, such as our personal dream weddings we hope to be in or plan one day. The opportunities I've already had in the past six months are astonishing. From fun-filled beach days in O-Week to becoming a student ambassador and meeting a whole new group of students, attending and presenting an award at an Oscars-themed dinner, speaking at the scholarship ceremony, and now here, I'm so grateful and would not have all these amazing memories, friendships and connections without it. There are so many more things to look forward to as well, such as going on industry placement in my second year, where I hope to potentially work with Neon Model Management, a wedding planning institute, or potentially somewhere entirely different as the college also has connections with hotels and resorts on Hayman Island, where students have had the opportunity to travel to for their placement as well. These are only a few of the stories I could tell about being at RCMS and what a course in event management has been like so far. However, I'm sure so many of my friends would agree that I could go on and on about it forever, about how much I love RCMS. So I'll leave you with that. Thank you so much for everyone watching. And I truly hope that I see some of you in events on campus next year. Fantastic. Thanks, Samantha. That was a really insightful um, a conversation from you. And it's pretty crazy to think that you're uh, only coming towards the end of your first year. You sound like almost a third year student uh, who's had heaps <laughs> of experiences and um, you're, only, you're only one year down. So uh, plenty, of, plenty of time to go. So I'm really excited to see what the next two years has in store for you um, as well. Me so um, look, I think it's a great segue actually into uh, a few of the questions. There's actually a lot of questions coming in. Uh, so I'm just trying to sort of collate them as we go. So um, now guys, if we don't get to all the questions that you may have asked online, um, <clears throat> you can jump onto our live chat feature, um, which is a little red button uh, on the online uh, open day session uh, anytime today. So if we don't get to your question, I apologize, but jump online straight after and we'll get that answered by our um, student advisor team uh, who are online right now waiting for your questions as well. So I'm going to just cover up a couple of them really quickly because I've kind of consolidated them uh, together. A couple of people have asked about entry pathways and what's the best uh, time and way to start. So in summary, I would say there's two things to keep in mind. Firstly, um, early entry and UAC are probably your main two ways I would focus on if you're trying to cut down the options. Um, get in with early entry uh, now as well and get your application in and also put us number one in UAC. That's really important because we don't often get below our first preferences in UAC just given how much demand we have. Um, and keep in mind that this year is the biggest year 12 um, cohort graduating in 10 or 30 years, about 15 years or so. So the demand is going to be even higher than normal. So make sure we're number one uh, in your UAC preferences. Now that does open again on um, the 12th of August. So if you have a UAC account at the moment, you can't change it until the 12th. But if you don't have a UAC account now, you can jump in and make that account today and put ICMS number one. Um, the other questions have all been around uh, start date. Um, now, they're kind of getting questions around who, uh, when, so 
sorry, is the best time to start. There was a few options on the screen before. My recommendation from experience uh, is February is the best time to start if you're currently in year 12. Um, if you're not in year 12 at the moment, you've already finished school and you're a different stage of life, um, then I would suggest getting an application for the next available intake, which is August, um, end of August, beginning of September. And then we can talk to you one-on-one -on -one about maybe if it's the best intake for you or not. So that would be my recommendation. So if you're year 12, uh, February is the intake for you. Um, Katrina, I actually have a question which I think is probably best uh, directed at you. Unfortunately, the person hasn't put their name down, so I'm not sure who has asked it. Um, but they've said here, I have a Bachelor of Business um, already. I've got that under my belt, um, but I really want to go on to study event management. Would you recommend a Bachelor of Events or a Master's of Event Management at ICMS, considering I have no prior knowledge in this field? Okay, so they've got a Bachelor of Business and they've actually worked in industry and they have some amount of, uh, let's say, it doesn't have to be management, at least they've worked in, in group collaboration. Um, it, it, they may be able to chat to the postgraduate um, academic ops and see um, they could always try that first if they've already got a Bachelor of Business. Um, I believe they should try that first um, because any... Uh, any part of business, sometimes an event, you may have actually helped partake in a, um, you know, in a in a corporate um, offsite. Okay. Uh, so as long as they've had some sort of exposure to events and have great project management and business um, skill sets behind them, um, there may be possibly a pathway for the um, the masters of event management for them. Um, but that, that, again, chat to student services about that, and they'll be able to direct that much more. But okay. if there's an element of yep, element of um, management then in there, or project management, and those skill sets that we look for, um, sure. the event side can be taught. Okay. I mean, look, I mean, I suppose the thing to remember as well is if they apply for one and in the conversation, um, you know, we, we have a discussion that maybe the option they've picked isn't the best one. We can always adjust their application. Absolutely. Way. That's right. Yeah. The student services will absolutely, absolutely help them personalize to what they think will be best yeah. for them. Perfect. Okay. Fantastic. Um, uh, Samantha, I actually have a question, uh, which I think you're probably best placed uh, to answer, which is, has come through here. Um, you spoke about neon model management, but um, how have you found the industry training process? I mean, has lockdown impacted your ability to, to start looking for a job? Or have you found that COVID has meant uh, you know, not really too much for you at this stage? Um, so far, there hasn't been too much impact at this stage. Um, since I've just finished my second trimester, it's all about figuring out where our interests sort of lie and where we're sort of thinking of going. So as I mentioned, I'm interested in neon model management or perhaps travelling elsewhere. But at the moment, it hasn't really halted the process too much. It's more about um, really just getting a scope of where you want to go, getting ideas, um, really fixing up your ICMS resume and ensuring it's all sort of good to go, but um, no opportunity is too closed off yet. So it's, it's so far so good. Yeah, fantastic. And I mean, Katrina, you can probably talk to that point because you're, mm. you know, you have global contacts. I, I can see here on your, um, your, your bio that you've worked all throughout Europe, Australasia. You've got quite an extensive network. So that's is, right. Yeah, and I mean, and I teach students from all over the world as well, and yeah. all of them are finding it very, very easy to find uh, jobs at, at okay. present. Interesting. Um, so that is a really exciting. Then there's never been more event and tourism jobs actually on Seek.com here in Australia at the moment. Okay. Because they're wanting, uh, they're wanting new blood. That's that's all I can say. They they want new innovation and new yep. people that they can, you know, like sponges that they can take in and move to the new direction that the event industry is going. Yeah, okay. okay. We teach hybrid technologies. We teach um, business events in both online and live format, and we understand, you know our um, risk management now with large community or, you know, gala or fundraising or fashion or music events. And this is where uh, maybe in industry, some people have been at it for a very long time, maybe a little bit more resistant to change. Yep. Uh, so we're finding it's, it's a huge opportunity for our students. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. I mean, I suppose the, the thing that is interesting here is that the, this industry has seen a lot of innovation uh, mm. over the last 18 months, which has opened up new opportunities for everyone, which, which weren't there before. So, um, and the thing to remember for people who are uh, starting with us, you know, either in September or in, in February next year, 
Um, you know, their, their degree takes two and a half, you know, three years to, uh, to complete, including that placement time, obviously. Uh, but that means they'll be coming out into an industry that's, that's fully rebounded by that point. And oh, absolutely. It rebounds so quickly. It, it's, it's, you know, we've seen some huge events in the last couple of months here in Australia and worldwide, you know, yep. um, the US and Europe, they've got some enormous events going at the moment. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, our students have been put on, you know, they've had Disney internships, they've had some fantastic, you know, fantastic yeah, cool. internships. So. Fantastic. So I think as a, as a final question, um, which has come through here uh, in a couple of different formats, but for, for Sam, um, obviously starting a new institution, you've gone from, from school straight to university, a little bit daunting, but um, you know, how have you found the process of making new friends that you didn't know uh, before starting here at ICMS? Honestly, much easier than expected. I think it is always such a daunting thing because when you come to the end of school that's you kind of start to realize that's all you've ever known if you're coming sure. to the end of year 12 you've been in school as long as you can remember your whole life day in day out your school is where you've been and that's routine so I think whether you know people that are going to the same university as you or not it's still a daunting thing because different classes meeting new people new activities a new routine it can be daunting but I found it much easier than expected. I think um, the orientation process at RCMS really helped. We were really fortunate to be able to have the annual cocktail party this year. Um, I think it was the first on-campus event that we were able to have um, <laughs> for a long time. And so that gave me the chance to really just mingle. It was, it was a little bit nerve-wracking, but everyone was so excited. So we kind of had that to bounce off each other and everyone was in the same boat. And then, as I said, we have very small classes. So seeing those familiar faces, like you kind of, oh, I, I, you know, I know you from the cocktail party or I've seen you around at the beach or, you know, you kind of get to know each other because you're in those small interactive environments um, a few days a week. So it's not, you're not sitting in massive daunting lecture halls with a hundred other students in the same boat you actually get to sit on table groups it's a bit like high school but more freedom more fun and to cater to your interests and with like-minded right. students so it's definitely been um really really easy um considering what I thought in making friends and I've actually made some of like the best friends I've ever had I've made some really good friendships and I think they'll be lifelong so yeah. it's a great um community to be a part of Great, yeah, that, look, that's really fantastic to hear, and that's obviously a pretty common story around around here. And I'm glad you mm -hmm. had to have the, the same experience. So I, I think, guys, look, just the final question, which I'll wrap up on behalf of the the group here, um, is uh, face to face and online classes. So a couple of questions about that. Um, currently, most of our, or all of our classes are online for the mid the mid term uh, we're currently running, but we're hoping for September uh, we'll have face to face classes back, depending on what the government uh, does with restrictions. But our, our goal is that definitely by February uh, we'll have a, a large number, um, hopefully, in theory, all of our classes back face to face. Um, we'll see how we're going with uh, government restrictions at that time. But we believe that face to face um, you know, is a really good experience for everyone. Um, our lecturers love it, our students love it. So um, that's our goal for February to be back face to face. So, Katrina and Samantha, look, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. It's been really exciting and insightful. I appreciate your time, as I'm sure everyone online does as well. Um, and for everyone watching, remember, jump in, updates, um, UAC preferences to number one, apply for early entry, uh, and any questions that you haven't had answered yet, um, jump on live chat and we'll help you out uh, right here, right now. So, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Katrina. Thank you, thank Samantha. You. Thank you so much for having Lovely. me. No worries. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Bye.